What is happening guys? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Rush SRT here. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and wrap the hood on my Challenger with 3M vinyl in the color satin black. A lot of people have done this. I'm going to attempt to do it myself today, so hopefully it goes well because I'm going to be really upset if I can't get this right because I really, really want to get this done. I know it's going to look so good on the Destroyer Gray. Okay guys, let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to need to complete this project. A squeegee with a felt edge, retractable knife with snap-off blades, as well as extra blades, alcohol to clean and sanitize the paint before starting, microfiber towels, a heat gun for heating the vinyl, and most importantly, using good quality vinyl. I utilize a 3M satin black, the link will be in the description. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the hood vent. To do this, we're going to pop the hood and stick our hands from behind and go ahead and click those tabs on the back of the vent. Next, I place some towels under the hood to keep it from closing. This will also give us the clearance we need to wrap around the hood. A crucial step when vinyl wrapping is preparation of the surface. That's why we use alcohol to make sure that the surface is clean and sanitized with no pre-existing wax or anything else left behind. After applying the alcohol, I utilized a dry microfiber towel to go over the whole hood. Now that preparation is complete, let's go ahead and start wrapping. Position the vinyl wrap on top of your head and just make sure that you lay it out flat from end to end. Since I didn't have powerful enough magnets or a helping hand, I utilized tape to hold the vinyl in place while I trimmed it. After securing the vinyl, we're going to go ahead and proceed to trimming it. Now you want to be very cautious when trimming your vinyl. You want to leave enough room on the side fenders and the front of the hood just so that you have enough room to get your hand under there and be able to pull it when you need to stretch it and position it over the hood. If you cut too close, you might not have enough room and you might end up ruining your wrap. I trimmed the top of the hood at a rounded angle to rid the film of any wrinkles that would take place if it was a sharp, straight head. Although there's different methods of laying the vinyl down, I decided to start on the driver's side. So I peeled the backing of the driver's side only and began glassing the film. I began by applying the vinyl at the center of the hood. The reason I did this was because I wanted to create an anchor point that would help me glass the film over the rest of the hood. When utilizing your squeegee to apply the vinyl, you want to make smooth strides. Make sure that you hold your squeegee at a 25 to 35 degree angle. Don't hold the squeegee straight down onto the film. This can cause scratching or damage to the film. In order to keep tension on the vinyl, you want to go ahead and make sure you pull and stretch it as you apply it. Now being that it's your first time applying vinyl, you're probably going to get a few wrinkles and maybe an air bubble or two that are a little harder to get. Just remember that the foam is actually very durable and can be lifted a couple times to remove any air bubbles or any wrinkles that do form. I would like to stress the importance of glassing the film over the hood. If you're able to gloss it and smooth it out, it's going to make applying it a lot easier and a lot quicker. Also if you notice that the film has wrinkles in a certain direction, make sure you gloss it in the opposite direction to help pull those wrinkles out. At this point, you should have the first half of the head completed. 
Now let's jump over to the other side and replicate the process. Remember to glass your film. Make sure you apply as much pressure as you can and stretch it over the hood to make applying it a lot, lot easier. Once again, we're going to begin by applying the vinyl at the center and working our way towards the fender. Now although I didn't have to use a heat gun on the first half of the hood, on the second half I did end up utilizing the heat gun and the reason was that the vinyl was giving me a lot of wrinkles and it was getting a little harder so by applying heat it helped the vinyl kind of shrink a little bit and at the same time it uh, made it easier to stretch and glass out over the last portion of the hood. Once you have completed applying the vinyl on all of the hood, you can then begin to wrap everything up. What I did was I applied heat to all the edges and then trimmed them about half an inch all around and tucked the film underneath the hood to prevent any lifting. Once you completed that, it is all done. Now it's time to reinstall our hood vent and wipe off our vinyl. To wipe down the vinyl, I used alcohol once again just to remove any debris or grease I might have been added on by my fingers while applying it. Once you completed that, now you're all ready to wrap this thing up and get the bad boy out on the road. Alrighty guys, so the hood wrap is officially completed. Uh, I decided to tackle it by myself, which may be not the brightest idea. You should probably get somebody to help you. It'll make things a lot easier when you lay down the uh, vinyl and stretch it and all that. But I was able to get it down myself and it looks really good. I'm actually really satisfied with how nice it looks. Um, it just kind of complements the car really well. The destroyer gray, the black. Our satin black looks amazing so let me give you guys like a little close-up of it so there we are um, it did take quite a bit of time about an hour and a half and then filming along made it probably a little longer but this is how the car is looking now limo tent black fuel cap rush SRT got to represent and uh, I'm just really happy with the way this thing's looking right now. Next will have to be the roof. I'm gonna probably end up wrapping that as well. But man, that hood looks amazing. The way it is, it just, the lines flow so, so nice. So uh, yeah guys, let me know what do you think in the comments below. Uh, what is your opinion? Does it look good? Should I have gone with something different? But I really like this look satin black just looks really good on these cars and that's probably why a lot of people do it and I left a piece of tape right here let's take that off don't need that but yeah I got detailed her yesterday you guys saw the foam cannon video so she was looking really good 
But yeah, I'm so exhausted. Definitely not an easy project to do, especially wrapping um, vinyl. If you've never worked with it before, it is uh, quite a challenge. It actually wears out your hands from how much you're pulling and tugging and using the heat gun and all that. But I was able to get it done. I'm really happy. I was actually scared that I was gonna just end up destroying and ruining the wrap and throwing it out. So um, I'm just really glad everything came together. The hood scoop looks really good now since it, you know it's black. So uh, yeah guys, thank you for checking out this video, Rush SRT, uh, back again with another video, so hope you guys enjoyed this one, we'll see you in the next one, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, peace!